Hey guys, I wanted to do another super quick video um, about my favorite foundations. I have some like reservations on doing this video because I don't know, I know that some of these are my favorite foundations, but some of these are also like foundations that really impressed me. Um, I have oily, mainly oily skin, acne prone skin. Um, I have a lot of, maybe not a lot of, but some scarring, some redness. So I like to look for super good coverage foundations. Um, I only buy foundations from the drugstore, like quite literally. Um, and so I have gone through quite a lot in my like journey to find foundations that I like. So I just wanted to share with you foundations that I love and foundations that really, really impressed me um, from the drugstore. So I don't know what more to say other than that. Um, I have five. I'm going to bring them front and center here for you, um, or for me rather, to see. The first one is one I'm wearing today in combination with another one that I'm wearing. So this is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain. I have a full review of this on the blog. I actually just put this back on my skin for the first time in a long time today, and I forgot how much I love it. I have a get ready with me video that's a total fail, but I uploaded it anyway where I use this foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure I have other videos where I use this foundation as well. The coverage of this foundation is impressive. You'll see in that video that I linked down below that my skin is red, my skin is, I don't want to say discolored, but it definitely has scarring, things like that. This totally evens the skin tone. The downside is that there are very limited shades. If you are not white, you're probably not going to find a shade for you. Um, I'm not sure if this is the lightest shade or if there's one before this, but um, this is either the lightest or the second lightest shade. It's very, it reminds me of a more moussey whipped consistency, not as thick as the Revlon Color Stay, almost the consistency of maybe the, the CoverGirl clean whipped foundation kind of thing, but in a squeezy tube. I'll show you the top here. It has a little squeeze tube. Um, and almost kind of like the uh, Rimmel matte moussey one that they have too. So I love this foundation. I forgot how much I liked it. And it's $6, 6 or $8, I believe, on the e.l.f. website. Um, it's amazing. I love it. The second one I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I brought this along with another foundation to Korea when we went to Korea. Um, the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte Makeup Foundation or whatever it's called. This stuff stayed on my skin all day long. I even just put it on my uh, fingers after I primed my skin. I put a mixture of the both on my fingers and patted it into my skin and then set my foundation with a setting powder and it lasted all day. We were walking around the city, it's hot, we're sweating, I, st I took a nap in it, I still looked beautiful. This keeps me matte, I feel like. I love this foundation for the mattifying properties. This is kind of expensive, this is also not my shade, so I mix it with another foundation that's in here. A lot of these, I'm the like cocktail queen of foundation mixing because I cannot ever find the right shade for myself. And so, but through the power of the mixing palette that's dirty still from this morning, I can create my own shade. So I love this because it also has a squeezy tube as well. It's dirty as heck. Um, it's easy to travel with. Both of these are easy to travel with because they're not glass. They're not going to break. They're, you know, pretty flexible. Um, so those are those. The next one is, this was all the hype and it's totally dirty. This was all the hype when it first came out. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. It's supposed to be like a primer, uh, the lasting power of a primer, the coverage of a concealer, and the blendability of a foundation all in one. I like the coverage of this one. I like the blendability of this one. Um, I like the price point of this one. If you go to Walmart or um, like Target, I believe it's around $9.99. Um, other places it's more expensive. Um, I like that it has a pump. I like the blendability. The staying power is great. All of these have at least six hour staying power on me. I use a primer. I do set my foundation. Um, and I try to blot throughout the day, but none of these really have any transfer. They don't have any, um, um, 
I don't know, they don't melt off my face. My face doesn't eat my foundation, which I'll talk about that in another one as well. Um, but I love this. This has a wide range of colors. This is like, um, what do you call it? Like accessible everywhere. And it's just a great, great foundation for oily skin. The next one is also sort of a, an acne fighting foundation. This is the Alme Clear Complexion Makeup Blemish Heal Technology. I used to use this when I was in high school and I repurchased this recently just to see how it worked um, on my skin. I don't know if any of these acne fighting ones really do anything, you know, to, to promote healing or whatnot, but it can't hurt. It doesn't seem to hurt. Um, the coverage on this is amazing. It is in a glass bottle with a pump. The old one was just in like a pour type of bottle. Um, like you would have to pour it on the back of your hand or something. The coverage on it is great. The staying power on it is great. There is, there's a few, the range selection for this is not as wide as this. Um, this is out of all of these, I think this one and the last one have the best color selection. Um, this does not really have that best color selection. Is that what I was saying? Yes. Um, this is also not my shade. I think I am buff or something like that, which is a shade that's hard to find. Um, so I haven't used this in a while because this is definitely not my shade. Um, but I don't even know why I have it if it's not my shade. Maybe I can mix it with something. I don't know, but I love this. I used to wear it in high school. Now that I have sort of, you know, matured in my makeup game, I kind of know how to work with this. And it does um, have wonderful coverage. It stays really long. It's a great, a great foundation, especially if you have oily or acne prone skin. The final one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I don't believe I like this one too much on its own. This is the shade 110 Porcelain. It is the lightest and the most yellow of all my foundations. My phone and iPad are both going off at the same time. I use this to mix with all these different types of foundations to create my perfect shade. This gives sort of um, that like demi matte finish. I don't know. I think it really adds something to the foundations I use it with. It's really liquidy so it can thin out a thicker foundation. Like all of these are sort of, I don't want to say thick, but they're sort of thicker foundations. Whereas this one is super liquidy. So it makes these other ones blend easily. Um, this has a wide range of shades as well. They also have the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and something smooth or whatever my skin ate that foundation like I put it on two hours later I looked in the mirror and it was gone it was not there at all this at least stays on me this can add a little bit of matte uh -ness. I probably that's probably not a word to other foundations that I might be using if I want to experiment I know I'm going to pull this in and maybe mix it with another foundation um this is like my go-to mixer like this is like my Sprite. Like this is my like mixer. <laughs> so I love this for creating those foundation cocktails. So those are all five of my like most impressed by foundations, my favorite foundations from the drugstore, foundations that I want to scream about and tell people about. Um, so I hope this video was sort of helpful. It was kind of like a weird video to do. I didn't really know what I was going to talk about, but I knew I wanted to share the foundations from the drugstore that are super impressive to me, um, especially with someone who has oily skin and uh, acne prone skin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. You can subscribe as well, stick around, watch some more videos. I would love for you to do that as well. Um, you can read my blog. It's 516thsblog.com. Follow me on Instagram. That's at 516th. And I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye.